Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Rupan, uh, another Rupan movie reaction and I'm going to react to Rupan 3, the first movie. And this is a 3D movie and I've heard this, this is one of the best 3D movies. And I kind of saw a few clips of this movie as well before. So I know that this is definitely one of the best 3D movies like ever made. And I'm really excited to check this out. And yeah, this will be my final movie reaction. And after this, I'll start the anime. I'll talk about it after I finish reacting to the movie and finish discussing about it. I'll talk about what I'm going to do after this from the next week. So yeah, so anyways, um, let's get started. Let's see what this is about and you know what the story is. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. This is my reaction to Rupan 3, the first movie reaction so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go oh and i've heard that the subtitles are a little weird i think um hopefully i don't have any problem because i can kind of understand japanese so even if there's like a mistranslation or something, I'll probably be able to, uh, you know, understand what the mistake is or something by hearing. But we'll see. Like, let's just see what this is about first. So, yeah. France, World War II. <clears throat> Prison, Paris. Look at that. Wow. I'm. Oh my God. This is so beautiful. Look at this. The animations. This is so smooth, like Okay, something's happening, he handed something to them Oh Following them Oh, police or someone, I'm not sure. Rest on, Professor. Oh, this is yeah, World, World War II. Okay, I was like, okay, okay. Oh damn! Whoa! This book? Or whatever that is Oh Oh! Yo, that was close. Oh my god. Damn, the, the tire went out completely. What the? Oh no, the thing. So this guy got his hand on the clock thing, but he did not get the book, so... Yeah, this thing.
<laughs> wow okay i'm this is really amazing like the way the 3d has been done Like one of the most clean 3D animes I've ever seen. Like, at, you know, for now, like, there's a lot of great 3D animes, like using CGI and stuff. Uh, for example, B Stars, uh, Hoseki no Kuni, and a few others as well, which are just so damn impressive. But this is like on another level. Like, what the? Like,. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of um, those um, anime figures, you know, you have uh, w which are just like, you know, like that type of a 3D like, which is so clean and well done and yeah, they look like anime figures my god the first. I wonder why the name is the first. Like years later in Paris. Wow. Did they Paris Bresson? Bresson. Prison diary. That I think the guy died. The the Bresson guy. Bresson diary. Okay. Oh, this one. Oh damn! It's in a museum. Oh. Well, where there's treasure, there's Fujiko. And I'm sure Rupan is here as well. <laughs> Alright, here we go. To take... <laughs> Alright. Okay, in the safe. Oh no, oh no, I think he's going to try to take it in, in, during this time. You know, now it's... Um... Up... 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 Uh... <coughs> Oops... Oh! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> well, oh! There you go. Well, he did not get the book, like that's like the diary. Yeah, he, he only cares about Rupan. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, so she has her own plans. Oh, no. So is she a police officer or is she like uh, in disguise or something? I don't think he's, she's working with Rupan because otherwise why would she like you know catch him? Maybe she's f oh, with Fujiko's? No. Oh no, this okay. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> my god how did he make a jump like that what the <laughs> oh boy here we go fujiko's here Okay. Oh boy. Well. Yeah, the subtitles are a little bit weird, but it's okay. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Wait, what the? Oh, she had a parachute. Well, finally, Zenigata caught Lupin. Oh no! Girl! Oh, is this that girl? I think uh, the the girl who was um, uh, in the in the uh, the, the the little girl, child we saw. Okay, I'm guessing the the woman was her mom because they look a lot similar. Who the? Oh, this guy, the guy who took the... Yeah, yeah, it's, it's that guy. Oh, he, she, she called him Grandpa. So, okay, I'm understanding what happened after that. She, he probably took her in. Oh, Fujiko. I think it's Fujiko. Damn, so Fujiko's working with them. Okay, there you go. Okay. <laughs> I'm guessing is Fujiko planning to Up uh, uh, Transmitter Okay, well. Wait, what's <laughs> Zenigata? <laughs> wow, Zenigata. Oh, okay, so his grandfather also. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jigen and Goemon, is Goemon there? Oh. I think, yeah, Jigen and Goemon, 
Both of them are here. <laughs> oh! Wow. Nope. Jigan's going to shoot before that. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, come on. <laughs> Oh, wow, okay. My God. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is some high level rescue mission. What the hell is happening? How is the car even moving after that? It's sliced in half. <laughs> Probably the momentum. <laughs> well, Fujiko's captured, I'm guessing. Oh, I'm guessing this clock is probably the um, key or something. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so... <clears throat> yeah, this girl, so the, the old man, he took her in after, you know, that accident, I'm guessing. And he was talking with her in the phone, I'm, I think. He, he called... She called him grandfather. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah, how did he know? Oh, okay, transmitter, all right. Kind of, but not, not necessarily. She's doing this in, because her grandfather told her. Eclipse. <laughs> Truth about the past. What is that? Oh, okay. So you need that as well. 
<laughs> oh, it all makes sense now. Okay, that's why his his grandfather wasn't able to. Okay. Okay. He's, she's going to run. <laughs> yep. So you need both of them. And his grandfather was able to only take one. Oh god. Yeah. Lightia. Light. Okay. Boston Archaeology Department. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. What? He also left a trail. <laughs> what is Eclipse? Like... Leticia, okay. What? He, he knows? Has he heard that before? But like, he, like, you know, like, his grandfather was related to all of this. Like, I'm talking about Rupan. So maybe, like, you know, via that. <coughs> <laughs> My wedding day, Leticia. But that's her mom, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, so that's okay, yeah. What? Okay. <laughs> Does it I doubt she knows that it was her so called grandfather who did that. Okay. Oh, flare, what? Oh my god, what the hell is happening? Whoa!
ओके ओ शी जूरिंग हिम इन ओवर हियर ओके Okay that's what she is doing. Okay I was kind of wondering I was like why is she Whoa Okay <laughs> Okay, so she's tricking him like this, like, like, okay. Oh, wait a minute, what is she even do? Like, it seems like she's genuinely trying to escape. Like, why? But I thought she was luring him in here. Yeah, yeah, she is planning on doing something. Okay, wait. Oh, okay, so... Oh, that's what she's trying, okay. She want more information about it. That's why she okay. I'm in the mechanism. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wonder who that is. I wonder who that is. Five A eight. What? No. Oh, my God, it's a countdown. Yeah. He's what are you saying? He said that. A I L. A I L. -T. Is it is it her name? I think yeah. It is her name. L. There is an L. A. a. <laughs> okay, I think it is something related to her name. L. There you go. L. A. T. Yeah, it is her name. Eight, eight, okay. Oh boy, there you go. Okay, this book. Okay. I wonder what it...
اه In finite generator and uh, energy generator, qubit. <laughs> okay. Three trials. <clears throat> oh no. Well, I'm sure Lupin, Lupin kind of anticipated this. I'm quite sure of it. <clears throat> there you go. Oh. <clears throat> okay. I'm sure he has a backup plan because we have still not seen Jigen and Goemon. I'm sure they're somewhere over here. Hmm. Well. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> yeah, nobody cares. <laughs> um okay well <sighs> well, I think now Rupan is probably going to meet Fujiko because Fujiko is also captured. So, <clears throat> hmm. Okay, so what is... Agreement. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Oh boy, here we go. Ah, oh, wow. This, 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 this guy is just, uh, what do you call it? A jealous prick. I can understand. Yeah, he's, he's just, uh, salty.
Mm. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. He was, he was just like, what do you call it? Salty or jealous or. Yeah, he, he's fearful. <clears throat> Damn, such a pleasant personality. <sighs> All right. <laughs> there you go. I knew it. Oh. Yeah, please get gonna just open her. Uh, open him. Oh, I wonder what she plans to do now. Like she's out, so I doubt she's giving up. So oh my God, whoa. Ah! Oh, oh. All right, well, <laughs> better try harder, Rupan. You need to get that. Well, there you go. <laughs> Rupan. And he'll be like, we don't need you anymore. Oh, so, okay. He's working for another. Uh... Oh my God. What? Oh, so he doesn't even know or have proof. What the? <laughs> well. Hmm? Oh, Luban, okay. It's a rat, you know, nothing much. Oh. Okay, so he thought she thought it was like a generator or something. Yeah, okay, that's why. That's what it was written. Oh. 
Okay. Wow. Okay. He, he... Oh my god. Don't. Oh, oh god. Oh. Is he remembering? My God, <laughs> no parachute. <laughs> oh, well, Fujiko's here. Oh my god! Um, can you please stop the plane for a second? <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 okay. Um... Um Okay, the, the animation is Oh <laughs> Oh 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 Well, there you go. Oh no. Well, we really do need a parachute now. Oh, oh, yes! <laughs> Jump! <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh my! <laughs> Wait, it was not Jigen, it was uh, Goemon, wasn't it? <laughs> Who dodged? <laughs> was driving the car? Up! Ugh. Ah, well. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said that before that, yeah. Well... Ask him. Who, Zenigata? <laughs> yeah, oh, Zenigata, it is Zenigata, wow. <laughs> okay, let's see how he lures him in. Okay, there you go. I plan on surrendering. <laughs> yeah, he really did say that, oh my god.
Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Is he going to steal the plane or something? Yeah, okay. <laughs> wow, this... <laughs> what? What a plan to get a ride. Damn, just call Zenigata. <laughs> oh. Wait, can he... Okay. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> platform in the Atlantic coast. <clears throat> and she doesn't even know that um you know like yeah Ah, uh, well, oh boy, I think she probably thought about this before, but she didn't want to think that his grandfather that she's been seeing from the from her child but he, he's, she's refused to believe that from up until now yeah the password yeah new the guy who made it new yeah yeah exactly and it's her mom's name Just like his grandfather. Yeah, oh boy. Oh, that's why she remembers that. Mm. 
Well, not yet. Wait, did he just... Oh my gosh, this guy. This guy. <laughs> well, it's your fault, like not him. I'm talking about the other guy, the one with, in the suit. Probably he could not. Who knows? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it is like... If, if used in a proper way, it will be one of the... <laughs> B, what? <laughs> okay there we go. that's what i said like the partner who he was talking about oh yeah that's why he had one of them one of the parts of the the clock or whatever Hmm. 40 kilometers north. Whoa. So, okay. What is wrong with you? Okay. I feel like they're going to like, you know, the, the grand, uh, the, the old man. I feel like they're going to use him and then like, they're planning to betray him or something. <laughs> um no he, he's just using you as a scapegoat there you go oh whoa what type of futuristic my god Well, guess what? Your other soldiers won't listen to you after this. What is this guy even saying? He, he was the reason... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, they're going to go back. Oh, that's good. Oh. Okay. I hope this is not a trap or something because, you know, like they know that Rupan is going to come here. So maybe they set a trap here or something. Like they're going to go in. Like, you know, diffuse all the traps, go in. And then they're going to pop out and take them at gunpoint or something. Yeah, I think they're tra Oh my god. That's what they're planning. Oh. 
Oh, eyes. They look like eyes, you know? Those little things. Yeah. <clears throat> an eye for an eye. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> Whoa, what the? Okay. What is this, anti gravity? What? Oh, they're all looking at it. <laughs> uh, all right. Ooh. Oh. That's a handy gadget, I have to say, you know, like... <laughs> okay, and then he's going to fall down. Top. Okay. Wait, he didn't fall down? Wait. Oh, he still has. Oh, he so he put it in and took it back. All right. Okay, so yeah, that's what they're planning. They they probably set a trap here and they're waiting for them to complete the trials and then they'll come out and be like, "Ha ha, got you." <laughs> wow. Dream. Uruk. Gilgamesh. All oh, right. So I'm talking about Enkidu. Stars falling on you. Damn, is Jigen going to uh, like solve the each and every one of them or something? <laughs> oh. oh my god! Ooh. Oh, wait. What? <coughs> what? Oh, is it made? Is it made of? It is made of. Okay, there you go. <laughs> He's like, okay, I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. Oh, oh, it's, it's, oh my God, there you go. There you go, nothing will happen to it. You just have to hold it and walk. <laughs> what happened? Why? Is he afraid of heights? Or oh no, okay, that's why. Okay. <laughs> oh my god okay those people i'm sure they're waiting they're going to okay come 
Final judgment. Oh damn. Well. <laughs> yeah, I think Rupan and Zenigat are probably the best for this because they always keep running. Ooh, run! <laughs> well, <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> My god, whoa. Is he memorizing it? Yeah, he's memorizing it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Wow, okay, this is cool. Oh, the cane! His grandfather's cane! <clears throat> oh, yes! Ooh! I have to say, I love Zenigata's. Oh, damn. Zenigata's design in this. Just look at Zenigata. My god. Looks amazing. Not grandmother, it should be grandfather. But, you know. Alright, all the bad people will come now. They'll be like, haha, tricked you. Ooh. Saw that coming. <laughs> and Ruben also knew that something like this is going to happen. <clears throat> well, Rupan knew that for your information. So did I. <laughs> he deliberately played your game. That's what he did. Because he has a backup plan. I'm sure of it, hopefully. <laughs> There's none. Damn, it's a huge, um... Whoa. What is that? It's like a... Damn! Damn. Oh, great. <clears throat> well, who would she?
Damn. Do you realize there's a police officer over here? Do you realize that? I'm talking about Zenigata. Oh, great. Wow. It's unsightly, like, you know, jealousy. Looking like, you know, like such an old man. God damn. Well, I'm sure there's some kind of a security here. Or maybe not. Whoa. Ooh. -hoo. Okay. Damn. Whoa, this is like a... Damn, it's like a spaceship. Okay. Huh. Well, you should have chosen your employer a bit wisely because now you're going to die so zander skins <laughs> damn Yeah, it is like a spaceship or whatever. Well, there they are. <laughs> well, now that uh, Goemon has his Zantin skin, this plane is nothing. He can just slash it off. And Jigen has his gun. Ooh, ooh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at that clean cut. And now I know what they're going to do. They're going to take uh, Latisha as a hostage. Like, I know exactly what's going to happen one after the other. Because that's how it goes. Let's see. Or maybe not. Okay, never mind. He's trying something else. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. That's eyes, isn't it? God. Hmm. Oh, wow. That, that looks like a weird, um, I don't know, fantastical monster or something. I don't know what this reminds me. This reminds me of a game, like... Okay, whoa! Oh no!
Oh boy, I have a bad feeling about this, so... Ah... Damn, it's like a black hole or something. No, wow, it's... Ah! Damn, wow, that was some impressive animation. Well, I'm sure there's somewhere. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn, look at that. It'll be too late by that time, by the time reinforcements arrive. Yeah. Oh my god, I think this guy will betray him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I thought the reverse will happen. This, this guy will betray him or something, but it's probably the reverse. Wow. But this guy can just shoot you. What is he even saying? Oh, great. Oh, great. Wow, this guy's stupid. For being a... Damn, this guy. Yeah, this guy's gone mad. This guy can just pull out a gun and shoot you. Like, what is, like, is this guy so crazy that he, he's forgotten that he's an old man? He doesn't have any firearms with him? Like, yeah, like, he can just toss you out. Like, Yeah, he had a gun with him. You could have just shot him. Oh my god.
Damn, the subtitles are very... Uh... <clears throat> did, did he know? I think he knew probably that this is the same girl. Um, yeah, yeah, he, he, he surely knew. It. Oh my god! Whoa! Wait, what? Oh, he she changed it. There. Oh my god! Here we go. Oh no! Wait, what? Oh, okay, that's why. Whoa. Oh, is this is this a trap? Is this a trap? I think this is a trap. For them, like for him. Maybe Ruban is doing this or something. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Never mind. Maybe this is... I don't think so. I think that's Rupan in disguise. I'm sure that's Rupan. Okay. Oh, thank you for handing it to him. Okay. That's I'm sure that's Rupan. Um, Or maybe not. Oh no, that's not Rupan. Never mind. I was quite sure that that was Rupan. Okay. It is Rupan. Okay. Either this is Rupan or it's um, either of the bodyguards. I'm sure of it because we saw Jigen. <laughs> it is Rupan. Oops. Yeah, because of the eclipse! The eclipse! <laughs> I called it! Okay, there you go. Like, I'm... Like, seeing them for so long in movies, I'm pretty sure what they're going to do after what. Like, you know, the way they operate. I'm pretty sure of how they do it.
Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. But probably after this Zenigata will be like, yeah, caught you Rupan. Ha! <laughs> oh! <laughs> then he got a special move! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> well... <laughs> yeah! Well, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh was that a trap? Oh my god, wow! There's no bullets in it. I'm sure of it. I, as I said, I can read them properly. Like, I've seen Rupan's, like, for these few <laughs> weeks that I can read what they're going to do after what. <laughs> yep. Well. Oop. <laughs> Damn, that must have hurt. <laughs> because he's a thief. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was just trolling him at this point. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh No, he's gone. <laughs> oh Oh, 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 damn. Okay, okay. Damn. Oh. Wait, what? My god, this guy is so... Just throw it in the black hole. He'll, he'll just jump. Just release it, Ruban. Release it. Oh! There you go. Yeah, nothing you can do. Oh my god. What the?
Wow, it completely disintegrated. Huh. <laughs> ah, well. Wait, that is a oh that's the, oh that okay okay I remember the gr gravity anti gravity <laughs> yep. What the? She. <laughs> Wait, where's the others? Yeah. Yeah, you're an archaeologist. <laughs> Five years. Oh, the mom's fit. No, wait, what is that? Oh, wait, was that a fake one? That was a fake one. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, there's any other. <laughs> It's way over the weight limit, guys. That's why your boat is moving so slowly. Oh! Wow, I was just going to explain it. Oh, okay. Oh, this was 2017. Very recently. Damn. Wow, that was truly great. Like, nothing to say about the animation. It's very apparent. Everyone knows. It's one of the best. Not one of the best. It's probably the best 3D animation. In anime I've seen at least and <clears throat> um, other than that the story was good and you know like the what can I say like, it's a good story nothing uh, like the story was okay like it was all right like I like obviously the other uh, stories in Jigen's gravestone um, uh, spray of blood going on and um, Fujiko's life those three had like you know uh, those stories were incredibly amazing those were like the best stories of lupin i've i've like you know like seen and 
so comparing it to that the story was okay you know it was like a rupan story just like how we have in all the different movies we've seen you know like uh rupan they are like you know targeting something and then uh like you know like they get into this type of a mess meets someone who is like probably the main character of that movie and for example you know all the different characters we've met uh, um in the in the different movies like you know there's like one integral character who is like the main character of that story of that movie we meet someone like that we kind of cooperate with them or like enough stuff happens and then by the end of it i kind of we get a conclusion like that's like the rupan movie how we get so like it was a story like that and uh, the story was nothing too impressive it was good it was good but not too impressive but the animation was top class obviously and yeah it was it was it was a good show like i if i had to rate this movie uh, for obviously for animation and everything i'll give it a 10 out of 10 like <laughs> nothing you know like less than that uh, for the story part i'll probably give it like um um 8 probably an 8 you know and yeah that will be it so yeah that's like my you know like my rating and if you kind of combine that you'll probably give it like a co combining the animation and the story it'll probably be like an 8.5 out of 10 so yeah it's it's a good good movie good story but yeah nothing impressive but it's good and <clears throat> now here we kind of get more information about rupan's background kind of a little bit you know like about uh, arsen rupan his grandfather and we also meet someone who was associated with him and like you know like as, as they kind of explained how rupan and um what was the girl's name i'll check it out later on um anyways okay yeah so uh, how uh, rupan and that girl were kind of related in a weird way because you know like their um, grandparents were also like you know like kind of um were partners so that's how like you know you kind of get like a parallel uh like you know a kind of thing so it's interesting to see like i i kind of guess that the partner was probably rupan uh, i'm talking about arsen rupan this is the grandfather um i kind of guess that because obviously like you know like it it seemed as if as as rupan was kind of giving hints like he was saying like oh i've seen this before like this seems nostalgic like those were those hints were enough to actually kind of guess that yeah probably the partner that they were talking about was his grandfather so all right that's the end um okay so wait a minute what was the girl's name um La latesia okay there you go i remember All right so this movie um we get uh, acquainted with a girl latesia and um everything now here's the thing the main um what can i say the, the things that actually kind of struck out of, uh for me at least in this movie was uh first of all the grandfather because i was pretty what can i say um conflicted about how to feel about him like i could kind of under like you know kind of um get a small little vibes of him actually caring about latisha you know deep down inside i i got that vibe little by little even if it's a little bit and i also got like you know like the, the way he was acting was completely horrendous like you know the way he treated latisha so i was kind of, because it was kind of a, like a mixed feelings that i had about him but you know if if combined together like i really don't like him because however like you know like like even in the, in the end we kind of see how he does care i guess in a way about latisha even though we saw that still that does not forgive what he did before you know like he he just used her you know used latisha and was in a way he he was kind of the reason why um his her parents died yeah like it was him wasn't he uh the the, the prologue part when we see like you know the the car chase yeah he's the one who 
who rammed. Let, let me just check that portion again. Yeah, 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 he's the one. Like, like the crash, the car crash happened. And like the result, you know, the, the main reason was him because he was chasing them. So it was kind of his fault, I guess, that you know, her parents died. And even though we kind of see that like, he did care about her, his dad does not forgive all the other things that he did before that. So, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so, like, that's what I felt about him. Like, it's, it's like a weird thing, but yeah, I don't like him. Like, he's, he's just that type of character, like, who is a bit, like, you know, too far gone. He's that type of character who went too far. Like, as, as uh, Leticia said, that when I met you, you were a person who genuinely liked archaeology. But as time passed on and on, and as, like, currently, you're not that person anymore. You've completely changed. And that's what happened. Like, you know, the, kids, the jealousy, the, uh, what do you call it, the envy, all these things twisted his love for the thing that he always did and you know the when whenever like this type of thing comes in whenever like a competition kind of thing comes in it kind of messes everything up you know like like he he probably got into archaeology because he loved archaeology and then like he met um Bresson, i'm sure of it like you know or maybe like you know he got acquainted with him or something happened i'm sure, i think and he realized how much you know inferior he is to his talent and that started like you know twisting stuff up within him his pure genuine love, love for archaeology kind of got twisted into a, you know, a source of pain for him. You know, like he liked archaeology so much that he wasn't able to accept that there was someone better than him. Like that's what I'm saying. Like you know, whenever this kind of a competition comes in, in whatever you like, you know, and it it sometimes it does actually help you heighten your, uh, you know, um, what do you call it? Um talents like if if like it, it, it basically depends on the person i guess you know like if 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 he if this grandfather was probably a person who was who took more positive vibes other than taking the negative things he would probably be something like oh like you know like this guy he is better than me so you know what let me just you know try even more and maybe i can surpass him and like you know if he took the positive thing from it if he took it as a challenge you know as an encouragement to increase his own talents he would probably be able to you know flourish more positively in a positive manner and maybe someday he could have you know surpassed uh, Bresson or like do something good for the world but he took it in a negative fashion he took it like oh like this guy like I'm better than him like you know how can he become be better than me and he, he took it in this manner and that's why everything like went down like that's why like and everything like has like two sides and if you take the good side it's all well and good but if you try to take the like and if you ignore the bad uh, good side you obviously the bad side is going to corrupt too and that's what happened here like yeah he he basically he started walking the wrong path and that was the reason for his downfall because in the end he was basically kind of mad he went completely mad by the end of it he was like yeah i'll be the you know most powerful person Nobody will be able to defy me or whatever, like, you know, like, so, yeah, like, and, you know, what, sometimes, like, you know, the surroundings are also a reason for people turning out to be like this. For example, I kind of, like, saw this, like, the, the guy, the guy, um, what was his name, the guy, the guy with the, Gerald, yeah, Gerald. Like, you know, I kind of saw, like, he was also kind of making fun of him. He was like, haha, you are such a big, you know, scientist and you weren't able to, a uh, not scientist, scientist, sorry, archaeologist. And you weren't able to, you know, like, he was kind of making fun of him and, like that as well. So, I'm sure there must be people, you know, he probably met, who also probably met fun of him. You know, maybe when he was in the archaeology department or whatever, maybe people compared him to others like like there's a lot of things like actually that makes a person bad like like these type of people they they like you know like this type of gossip you know that also probably in some way or the other affected him and corrupted him made him like this because you know he felt humiliated 
and so yeah like this is, this is a lot of like you know external factors that work into this as well so overall like yeah he he started walking the wrong path probably because of some external stimuli or maybe something within his own heart he himself felt incompetent so probably he was like yeah like he took he embraced the negative feelings other than taking it as a compet like you know as as an encouragement or competition or a challenge to become better it's, it's... anyways so yeah <clears throat> that was the whole thing with the grandfather and the other guy uh Geralt, he oh boy like we can we can see what type of a person he was he he was just too blind uh about the Führer and he was like oh he's definitely alive I'm I'm sure I'll be able to bring him back and then we'll conquer the world and like he was, he was living in a delusion and like and that's why <laughs> he was so easily tricked by the uh, fake image that was sent by the Interpol to you know to take out these type of people who are just hiding in the shadows and was successful because he took the bait but it did escalate into something completely different so yeah that was kind of a disaster but still <clears throat> that was Geralt like you know he, he was just like a person who was blind with faith that's just him like uh, running after a fantasy all right and okay overall the movie it was like you know like basically the girl had like a, a misconception about the whole thing and she like she she had the misconception she thought that this was really his grandfather her grandfather while she did not know that everything like you know like all the other hints that were given which showed that he is she is not her granddaughter but she's actually Resson's granddaughter so but Ruban was able to like you know kind of pick that up and told her later on which she was able to realize and I'm sure like you know like she probably felt that as well like I'm saying that she she wasn't able to realize that but now that I like you know the the, the movie the, the scene where Ruban talks with her you know tells her about her identity um she's kind of hesitating and I think that's like probably a thing that she told herself. She herself, I'm sure she kind of felt that something was probably wrong. And I'm sure she kind of, uh, you know, suspected his, her grandfather, um, what was his name? Lambert. Lambert not being her actual grandfather. I'm sure she probably speculated that or suspected that. But she kept herself, you know, like pr to protect herself from that realization know do not get uh what do you call it disappointed so that's why she probably didn't think about it but since rupan confronted her with that and he just like you know directly told her that yeah that's not your grandfather your grandfather is someone else he was forced to admit it and then she is like you know everything in her past in her um like you know, little memories that she had when she was a child it came back and she real realized that like you know yeah that Bresson was her actual grandfather and the thing with the little you know like the phone thing that she did she showed Lupin that was also something that her grandfather actually um like showed her when she was a child and uh, <clears throat> yeah so the book the mechanism of the book was made by Lupin's grandfather so that's why she he had the uh, the one um part of the clock now so wait a minute so does that mean that like they were saying that uh, Rupan like I think that Lambert told that yeah Lambert said something like your your grandfather wasn't able to uh, get hands on that um, on the treasure uh, not the treasure sorry on, on the book so I think um, that was like a misinformation because obviously they worked together on the book so it's not a matter of that yeah he like you know he, like, there was no need to steal it i think rupan's grandfather probably just like you know like kept the book with um Bresson 
and took one half of the um the clock uh the clock thing this and you know like passed it on to rupan so and Bresson passed the other half of the clock to um leticia which both of them kind of combined to become a key and the main password was Ratisha's name so yeah that's probably it like there is like you know like, like there's no question of yeah that Rupan's grandfather tried to steal it there was no question about that that's probably a false information it's just that Rupan's grandfather made it with um Bresson and yeah like it's probably something like that it's probably a misinformation that got you know kind of revolved around all right um okay that was that and uh, what else like there was a few things that i wanted to talk about here mm, oh um okay that was that and then you know like they actually find out the the place of the eclipse where it is and like like that was pretty apparent that they actually like you know laid a trap for them that was pretty apparent so that they can just you know follow them they'll uh, complete all the trials and they'll just follow them and later on take you know Leticia hostage and <clears throat> yeah that's what happened that's what happened and then we see what hap uh, happens like you know they start the whole thing with the eclipse um we see the destructive power of the eclipse and you know like the lambert uh lambert i don't know somehow tries to betray girl but that was like a weird the thing that he did and as like you know i can kind of understand why he did that he he probably went crazy with the uh thought that yeah i'll be able to get this power and you know like his pride his whatever his jealousy all that big mass of negative emotions probably made him lose his mind and he was like oh i'm the i'm the best i'll be the uh, god or whatever of this world so yeah why should i listen to you while that was clearly a complete uh, mistake that he did because Gerald can just pull out a gun and shoot him over there and that's kind of he did something like that he just shoved him around and just you know like threw him into the ground then he decided to shoot Leticia while the grandfather took the shot and yeah that was it and <laughs> and then the last portion of the whole thing with the Fuhrer like <laughs> Like I kind of, I was kind of feeling a bit, like you know, like what can I say, like suspicious, not suspicious. Like I was pretty sure that the Führer was Rupan, but then the way they were doing it, like you know, they were kind of, uh, like you know, extending that whole thing a bit too much. So I kind of felt, uh, like you know, in the middle of it, I kind of felt, wait, am I really wrong? Is uh, probably this is maybe this is not Rupan, but you know, like maybe it's really the Führer. And then like you know like we see jigen in the <laughs> background and i'm like okay never mind it is it is rupan in disguise <laughs> like the way he was able to uh play his role was impressive and yeah and that's it and as, as i said like you know like like i've been watching rupan movies for i think two months it's probably or is it more than two months something like that so <laughs> I, I can kind of guess what he's going to do after which <laughs> was kind of interesting like you know like everything that i was kind of predicting kind of came true in a way like you know the whole thing with the Führer, and then like you know like saying that oh like when he pulled out the gun i was like okay maybe he took out his bullets and yeah that's what he did <laughs> one thing after the other and yeah that was kind of like you know interesting like the way like the the way i can kind of predict things now that's what he's going to do after what <laughs> oh boy so yeah and in the end you know the whole fight with um gerald and rupan and you know like him going you know 
into the black hole and Rupan saying that yeah I completed the mission what did he say I, I completed the unfinished job or something he said yeah and like thankfully the the uh, the thing was with him which the anti-gravity thing and that really did you know come handy as he said like maybe this is coming in handy it did come in handy like luck is a big thing you know luck is such a big thing like and Rupan is extremely lucky like he's like probably the luckiest person you know in anime at least like like otherwise how is he able to dodge those bullets like <laughs> You see how he dodges bullets? Like, uh, if he did not have luck, he would have gotten shot multiple times. So, obviously, like, like definitely props to his own flexibility and his own, you know, really reflexes. But at the same time, luck is also a big factor. And luck always, like, you know, smiles on him. Uh, in, in the most dangerous situations. Most of the time, luck does not smile on him because, you know, like he usually goes to do something um, like, you know, probably a treasure or something he tries to get. And even if he's able to get that in the end, he ends up with no money. So in that way, luck is not like, you know, does not smile on him at all in that manner. But in the most crucial times, luck is with him. He, he, luck really helps him. And <laughs> yeah, that's why he's able to get out of all these dangerous situations like a slippery snake <laughs> and yeah that's just that's just great and uh, like you know Ratisha kind of got attached to Rupan by the end but you know like as we see like Rupan Rupan won't actually like you know uh, uh, what do you call it uh, involve someone in in the in the world that he is in like Jigen Zenigata Fujiko they they are all accustomed to all of this their life is like this you know like they they have been involved in this from the beginning so that's why they will be the only partners that he'll have he like you know all the people that he has met like all the movies that i've seen i've seen a, quite a few movies where there are people who in the end kind of tries like to get along with like you know to go with rupan but rupan always stops them and somehow evades them and says that no like this is not for you and that's why you know like we see how many dangerous situations he's actually involved in so any person that he kind of gets attached to he doesn't want them to face the same uh, like you know like world that he is in so he always kind of like you know stops them from doing that and obviously Leticia here he she already had a dream has a dream like you know being an archaeologist so like yeah to to kind of you know give up on that that's not the way this should go like if if she went with rupan like you know she had to give up on archaeology so yeah that won't do so like keep doing what you like and all right i think that was it it was nice to see like you know like someone who's actually uh involved with rupan and his ancestor like you know latisha i'm talking about it's actually nice to see someone like that because i don't think we have have we ever seen someone who is actually related to rupan's past i don't think so this is probably the first time you know like that like there's a character who is like this character latisha who is actually involved with rupan's like you know past in a way like you know like her grandfather was friends with Rupan's grandfather so it's probably the first time we actually see a character like this I think so yeah that was nice to see like you know someone who's actually involved with Rupan's past to see someone like that and uh, yeah that was it the whole story like you know obviously the whole story was kind of um focused on Latisha and Rupan that's why we barely got like you know much uh, involvement from the all the other characters but that's understandable obviously because you know Latisha is like a one-time character I think you know who is only in this movie like a standalone like you know as the movies are standalone movies that's why she's only here so that's why obviously they're going to put their more main focus on Latisha and that's how they did and like you know all the other characters like Zenigata, Jigen they had their times like when they shined for example uh, Zenigata his whole like you know slashing the uh, truck and then the you know the plane and then Jigen you know shooting with the sniper rifle and 
also kind of like you know shooting the the thing in the first chase scene he shot the uh, what was that the the thing in the in the road and it fell down that thing and fujiko's obviously that whole scene of her tricking the guards and then you know shooting using the <laughs> machine i think fujiko had a bit more um you know uh what do you call it involvement in this like and then after that she also saved rupan and leticia from that whole situation and um, that was fujiko and uh like you know like uh who else was that zenigata zenigata's whole <laughs> <laughs> look coming and as soon as rupan said that yeah i'm going to surrender or whatever he just came rushing in and then <laughs> and then zenigata in the end zenigata was like the main person who kind of helped them in a big way here like the call like you know, calling the interpol and everything and just like you know cooperating for the time being so that they can like you know like capture the actual bad guy and then rupan like you know like he like he can resume uh, his chase after that because it was a pretty big deal that was happening so <laughs> yeah like that was that was good so yeah that was it that was this movie guys uh, it was good it was uh, i liked it and uh, the animation obviously is fantastic and the story was also nice so that was it so that's the end guys this is the end of my reactions to all the movies i think there are no more movies left um there are a lot of tv specials left i know that uh, which i'll probably resume later on you know after i finish reacting to the anime uh, so now the question is what i'm going to do from next week from next week i'm going to start um rupan 3 the uh, part one the season one i'm going to start that i think it has like 24 or 25 episodes something like that and I'm going to do two episodes every week, you know, like um, on this day, same day, I'll uh, put out two episodes in one video, react to two episodes in one video, uh, like each, uh, each reaction will probably have one hour or one hour, uh, 30 minutes long, because I'll also have a little discussion, just like I do. So that, that is the way I, how I'll do. So I'm guessing um, the first season will be completed within three months. Uh, it, it probably has 24 episodes or something so it'll take three months to complete it after it completes I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like you know telling you guys the how I'm going to do the whole thing after it completes after that I'm going to like you know I'll, I'll probably post a comment when I'll ask you guys which episodes from season two and season three do you want me to react to I'm not going to react to the full thing because it's huge you know, season two is immensely big it's like 150 episodes or something and i think season three is like 50 episodes or something i'm not sure something like that so it's like 200 episodes obviously i won't be able to react to each and every one of them so if there's any episode that you guys like from season two and three and you want me to react to it just comment down below like uh, like you know two or three episodes if you want me to react so like you know if each and every like you know all the people have like you know people in the comment section if they have like two or three episodes that they want me to react to i'll kind of compile all of them and like it'll probably amount to like 20 or 30, uh, uh, 20 or something like that episodes not 20 that's a bit too much i think um something like that 15 or something episode it'll probably be like that and i'll react to them just like how i do and that's why i'm saying like all the episodes that you really want me to react to like uh, the ones that you really like so those episodes you can suggest me that and i'll just react to that um, that will be season two and three that's how i'm going to complete it and later on probably in my free time i'll check out the all the other episodes on my own and um now i'm not sure like you know like, uh if i'll do uh what's the name Fuji uh the story with fujiko and uh, what was that the woman named fujiko mina or something like that that series 12 episodes because uh, i think i kind of asked people like if you want me to react to it and like you know there's like a comment where they said that there's a lot of <laughs> a lot of like nudity and everything like you know it's like like crazy completely so i probably won't react to that i'll probably check that on my own later on because obviously youtube i can obviously i cannot like you know show stuff like that and so yeah i'll probably skip that part but i'll think about it you know and then obviously after all that ends, I'm going to start reacting to season four, season five, 
and then season six, which I'll do completely, like, you know, just like how I'm going to completely cover season one, I'm going to completely cover season four, five and six. And after all of that ends, that'll probably take quite a long while, um, probably a year it'll take. <laughs> so after all that ends, um, I'll again, probably resume um, the TV specials, which I have not checked out and which are good. So yeah, that's like the main, like, you know, the summary of how I'm going to do this. So yeah, so I wanted you guys to know that. And yeah, so from the next week, uh, Rupan 3 season one reaction, I'll start. Oh, um, I think there is a, what is it called? Uh, I think it's called the Rupan uh, episode zero or something. What's, what is it called? Uh, Rupan the pilot film, is this it? Yeah. Wait, should I do that before? Oh, okay, you know what? Let me know in the comment section because I think this one is probably something that I do need to check out. This Rupan 3 is the pilot film where, where I think um, here they kind of introduce all the characters or something, I'm not sure. Because this is, I think this is like a prequel to the Rupan 3 season 1, which means this happens before Rupan 3 season 1. So like, let me know in the comment section if I should check this out next week. Like I, like, I can do it like this, you know, like, I think this is like a 12 minute episode or something. Um, I can like, you know, check this out and then the other episodes. So let me know in the comment section if I, if you guys want me to react to this because damn, this is very old. It's like 1969. So, and there's like an, another alternative version as well, which came out in 1978. Yeah, let me know. You know, you guys let me know in the comment section, like if I should react to this and if I, like, you know, if I react to this, which one should I react to? Like, I can see there's like two versions. This one is like uh, in 1969, another is 1978. So if I do react to it, which one should I? So. I think I should, if I react to it, I should probably do the remastered version, which came out in 1978. So yeah, anyways, like, let me know in the comment section. And if I do react to that, this, I'll react to this. And then I'll also react to um, one or two episodes from um, the main anime next week. That's how I'm going to do. So yeah, let me know. That's it. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next week with another uh, Rupan uh, reaction so oh uh, I didn't say the things that I say so <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below how you liked this movie like I enjoyed it quite a lot especially the animations that was fantastic like really the one of the best 3d animations I've seen and uh, yeah what's your opinion on it let me know in the comment section so yeah that's it so I'll see you guys next week with another Rupan reaction. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.